How many times has God showed you something in your imagination that you thought was so wonderful and then you took it in there to your family and your friends and you shared it with them and they shot it down. You know why they shot it down? Because they couldn't see it. You know why they didn't see it? Because God ain't show it to them. He showed it to you. God put it in your imagination. He don't put it in other people's imagination. Stop telling your visions to other people because they're not going to see it. Why you think you keep imagining opening a business? Why you keep imagining graduating, getting a better job? Why do you keep imagining buying a house? Why do you keep imagining driving a really nice car? Why do you keep imagining getting rich one day? Why do you keep imagining that? Because God is talking to you. He's showing you something that he has for you. He puts it in your imagination, man. See, God is good, man. You've got to understand how good God is. He ain't playing with you. He the real deal. He created you, and then he even showed you what he got for you. You got to start believing in your imagination. You got to start talking to him about this stuff you be seeing. But you have not because you ask not. So if you see the vision, the imagination, but you don't ask God for it, what you want him to do? He showed it to you. Faith without works is dead. So now you got to put in work. All of y'all sitting in here, you want a better life, correct? Have you, haven't you imagined a better life? Okay, who who you think he showed it to? He showed it to you. Why you think he showed it to you? Because he want to give it to you. But if you don't work, if you don't ask him for it, he cannot give it to you because he created us with the power of choice. We make choices every day. If you decide that you will be poor, there's nothing I can do. You're going to be poor. If you decide to be rich today, who's going to stop you? Who? If you decide you want to be rich, all you got to do is start. Why not? Who going to stop you? Unless you tell it to the wrong person. Mama, mama, listen to me. I'm going to be rich. Anybody rich in this family? Go in there and sit down somewhere. Get yourself a good job. Oh, mama, you must be right. No, mama could be wrong. Because what you have in your imagination, God didn't show it to your mama. I'm sorry. He showed it to you. Listen to me. If y'all don't do nothing else, write everything you imagine down. Write it all down. Pray about it and watch what happens. Watch what happens. Because let me tell you something. If God can fix me, you have no idea who you're looking at. You have no idea what I've done. You have no idea what I've been through. You, you wouldn't even talk to me if you knew what I had to do to be here. But God is in the forgiving business. God is in the get your life together business. God is in the turn it around business. God is in the saving business. God did all that for me. So I'm telling you right now, if God can fix Steve Harvey and turn him into this, I bet he can turn you into that. You, you have to understand why you're going through the period that's causing you to make you want to give up. See, the devil, the devil has one mission. One mission only is to rob you of your destiny. That's the devil's only job. If he can get you to give up, you have been robbed of your destiny. If he can get you to become a criminal, he robs you of your destiny. If he gets you to never follow your dream, chase your dream, he robs you of your destiny. If he causes you to think that this is all my life is, he has caused you to rob you of your destiny. You just have to understand that Satan has one job to rob you of your destiny. When you have thoughts that are negative, that's not God. That's Satan. He's doing everything he can to keep you from being who God made you to be. You gotta get focused, man. You gotta understand that this hard time that you're going through, 
it's prepared, everything you're going through is preparing you for what you, what you ask God for. Every trial and tribulation you go through prepares you for the life God has for you. All the hard times. Let, first of all, let me just say just one last thing. I gotta take this picture. You cannot name one single thing that God has not bought you through. If he hasn't bought you through it, he's currently pulling you through it right now. And you know how I know that's true? Because you're sitting in here. <laughs> Everything you ever thought you would not make it through, you got past it. Now, if you're currently going through something right now, guess what? You're going to get past that too. It always works that way. You always do.